The summer can be a quiet time in the sports betting world. Not only do the NBA and the NHL playoffs wrap up, but football season is still months away. And while some gamblers are happy to take a vacation, others need some action. Enter the WNBA. I personally started betting on the WNBA 15 years ago and is one of the first sport leagues I ever built a model for. And while the markets have gotten a lot sharper over the past few years with more betting volume, it's still one of my favorite leagues of handicap, not only because I enjoy the sport, but because the market is very beatable. So let's dive into my five tips for betting on the WNBA. Familiarize yourself with the teams. There are only 12 teams in the WNBA, which makes it easier to quickly familiarize yourself with all the teams and players. The season is also 36 games long, and the league does a great job of spacing out the games. This means there are only one to five games on any given night and allows betters to really dive into each matchup. It's also important to track each team's schedule. WMA teams can have home stands or road trips that sometimes last five games or more. It's important to realize when a team is in the middle of a lengthy home stand or road trip and adjusts accordingly. While they rarely play back to back games, you can have a team play four road games in a week. While I don't recommend blindly doing this, it's usually smart to fade a team like that towards the end of a long stretch. If you want to successfully bet on the WNBA, you'll want to familiarize yourself with each team taking out of star players and important stretches in their schedule. Keep up with the latest news. Once you are familiar with all the players and teams, you'll have a pretty good idea who the superstars and key players are for each team. NBA teams have multiple beat writers following their every movement. When a player has a cold, stubs a toe, or eats some bad sushi, we know about it. That's just not the case in the WNBA. With less media covering the league, information becomes even more valuable. The best way to keep up with player news is on Twitter. I create specific Twitter lists that include beat writers as well as each team's official Twitter handle, since they're often the fastest way to get the news. If a key player is a game time decision or a surprise scratch, the market can take a while to correct itself. An example would be if Brianna Stewart is a game time decision for the Seattle Storm, since she's worth around five to six points against the spread, the market will factor that in while we wait for the news if she's in or out. To track her status, I turn my notifications on for the Seattle Storm's official Twitter handle, since they will typically be the first one to break the news if she's in or out. Once her status is given, the market usually doesn't move right away, giving me some time to grab the line before it moves two, sometimes three points. Betters who can stay on top of the player news have a huge edge over the market. Utilize advanced statistics. The WNBA's official site provides the best data for both team and player stats. The site includes advanced stats like pace, offensive and defensive ratings, and shot charts, which are great tools to use when handicapping the WNBA. For example, pace of play data can help when betting on game totals, team shooting percentage based on distance range, whether for or against can help you when comparing teams in a given matchup. And advanced individual player stats like offensive rating, defensive rating, and net rating can help determine how much that player might be worth against the spread if they're ever ruled out of a game. Once you've compiled the metrics you prefer when handicapping, you'll be able to build your own model for betting on the WNBA. Don't rely on traditional sports betting rules. If you're a frequent better, you've probably heard terms like fade the public and likely even use that as a good rule of thumb when betting on some of the major sport leagues. However, since the WNBA is a lower volume market, there aren't as many hard and fast rules and some traditional methods just don't apply. For instance, I don't necessarily target underdogs or unders as heavily as I do in other sports. Additionally, while sometimes it's good to bet the lines as soon as they open, sometimes it's better to wait in order to get more clarity in regards to news. The league is a bit more pure when it comes to trends, so it's important to not blindly use the same logic that you do while betting other sports leagues. At the end of the day, the best way you can become a sharper WMA better is by tracking your bets using the Action Network app. Not only is the app free to download, but it allows you to connect with friends and follow experts like myself. 
on the app, I give a very detailed reason along with my projections for every single WNBA bet I place. Over time, you can pick up on my approach, which has led me to be profitable in just about all of the 15 years I've been betting on this amazing league. Eventually, you may develop your own approach to betting on the WNBA. Be sure to check out our other betting how-to videos on our YouTube channel. Follow me and the rest of our experts in the Action Network app and have a profitable summer betting on the WNBA.